Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today, oh my god, today I'm going to be reviewing the trailer for Marvel's The Punisher on Netflix. Uh, I just walked, caught this trailer last night. First of all, let me just say this, they could not have picked a better song to put in the trailer. Metallica's One from the Injustice for All album, freaking awesome. The way the bridge of the song fits so perfectly with the gunfire and everything in this trailer. Just, I'm a long time Metallica fan. And personally, I feel that Metallica should be the sole provider of music for this series. They have a whole host of songs that would fit in perfectly with The Punisher. I'm talking one, The Unnamed Feeling, The Day That Never Comes, and Justice for All, uh, For Whom the Bell Tolls. Unforgiven, Fade to Black, Seek and Destroy, Sanitarium, Blackened, Wherever I May Roam, Fight Fire with Fire, The Memory Remains, Creeping Death, Disposable Heroes, The Shortest Straw, The Freight Ends of Sanity, The God That Failed, Nothing Else Matters, and Fuel. And I say The God That Failed because there is a specific scene in the first good Punisher movie from early 2000s. The one guy says, Go with God, Castle. And... Frank says, God's going to sit this one out. And that was kind of repeated in Punisher Warzone, where towards the end of the film, uh, the Punisher hears someone screaming, he should, they're being attacked or whatever, and he starts walking up. All of a sudden, behind him, the neon cross that says Jesus saves goes out. So that's kind of echoed that God's going to sit this one out. And that's why I say The God That Failed would be the perfect, the perfect song for at least one episode of this uh, season. With that being le said, let's go ahead and check out the video. And we're going to start it up right now. We open up with Frank playing his guitar with his daughter. Uh, it is Metallica's one. His wife saying, you know, they've got plenty of time now that he's home. And then all of a sudden, she's shot in the head. Come to find out it was the CIA that killed his family. They did it to wipe away any remnants of him. Apparently he just came back from a special ops mission. And they wanted no traces left. Um... So he would kill on site order. And now the CIA, the FBI, the police, everybody is after Frank Castle. have to say John Barenthal does an excellent job portraying Frank um I don't see Frank as the um the crew cut type though but I do like this scene where he says uh <clears throat> the one guy's telling him you know you should work together and Frank says on one condition I'm gonna kill them all which is a huge reference to Metallica um of course, with their Kill 'Em All album. This scene here where he's shooting off everyone and the blood is spat splattering. That goes so perfectly with the bridge to the song. And then you got the uh, Punisher skull, which is very reminiscent of the uh, first good Punisher movie. I have to say, I really, really dig this trailer. I cannot wait for it to hit Netflix. Um, as of right now, there is no date linked to it. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. Netflix is keeping it sealed for that. They're, they're staying tight-lipped. I really don't know what's going on, why they're being so tight-lipped. You'd think they would want everybody to know exactly when The Punisher is hitting Netflix. As of right now, there's not really much more to say about it other than, holy shit, we're in for a hell of a ride, guys. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Take care.
Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Come Again, where all geek culture collides.